What is good everybody, it is your boy Super Saiyan Cat back with some major news for you guys regarding the Hero Coliseum in Xenoverse 2. Now we got a lot of things to talk about in this video, we're going to talk about leveling up, um, the things that you can do to make your characters better, rarity of characters, how to obtain characters, and the fact that there will be an online mode as well. But the first thing I want to talk about right here guys, as you see this is a different, like just a bunch of different characters right here. But I want to also state that there are multiple versions of each character. Like as you see right there, there's a rare Goku Black. And as you're going to see in a little bit, there's also a UR Goku Black and an SR Goku Black, I believe, as well. There's multiple versions of Goku. There's multiple versions of Super Saiyan Goku. There's another version. As you see, there's two SR versions of Super Saiyan Goku at the top. And there's multiple levels of rarity. I don't know if the rarity goes past UR. But right now, we know there is rare, super rare, and ultra rare. I don't know if you can up upgrade the ultra rare to become like something better but again right here as you see there is that goku black that you are goku black right there just showing you that there are multiple versions of each kind of character now you're gonna want to get your tp medals up because the way you can get characters for this is with your tp medals you can either get them through the story mode or with your tp medals so you're definitely going to want to get your tp medals up because what i'm assuming is tp medals are basically going to be like dragon stones for doken or some similar like that that would be pretty dope to me if they did like a pack type thing where they did drop like more exclusive type characters we uh every week or every two weeks kind of how doken does keeping this going because i feel this game mode has a lot of potential but again you're gonna want to get your tp medals up because now not only you're gonna need them for skills accessories things like that but you're also gonna need them for the hero coliseum if you plan on playing this and i'm telling you right now you definitely do want to play this because this mode is basically a whole brand new game within xenoverse 2 it has nothing to do with fighting at all it's a turn-based strategy type game you know the online really shouldn't have there should be no server issues or anything like that so that's going to be real refreshing to experience you know a xenoverse mode without any lag or anything like that and if it does lag it's not going to really affect you because it's not like you're in a fight getting hit from five ten feet away now next thing i really want to talk about is the level up system right here guys as you see this is that you are beerus and it shows him being at level two i don't know how you obtain experience points exactly i'm sure it's just through battles but as you see in the top right, he has a total experience of 7,790. You can upgrade that. Probably, I don't know how far you can actually take it. I believe they took him to like level level 20 something and it only wasted about 4,000 points. So I'm sure that 7,790 could probably take him to about like level 35, maybe even 40. And I'm sure you got to get to max level to get you know to be able to upgrade your character and probably take them to another type of rarity i'm sure there's another rarity beyond you are maybe it's like you are with a star some right here but as you guys see it took 4719 points to get to level 27 and look at his stats right there it went from 2000 with the uh, hp went up by about a thousand the attack didn't go up too much out of i mean maybe that's a lot for this game mode we really don't know until we get our hands on it same with defensive speed but i'm guessing maybe that's a lot maybe they just go up by a little bit but technically that's a lot within the game mode because again we really don't know until we get our hands on it but I really like how they got the level up system going this is just gonna be a real refreshing game mode basically to the Xenoverse community because a lot of Dragon Ball fans do enjoy Doken do enjoy Dragon Heroes like the gameplay is more like Dragon Ball Heroes and I'm guessing the collecting of these characters was more Doken related I'm hoping it is because I think a pack system for this would be extremely dope then you throw in the level up system with how the actual gameplay works i think this mode can be really really like amazing like honestly this can be something that a lot of people play because they're also going to include online mode and that's something we're going to talk about um later on as well but they're going to have quests you can do there's going to be a story mode that you can do there's going to be a whole bunch of things that you can do within this mode that's really like i said going to bring new life to xenoverse in a different way because regardless you can't really experience lag and if you do experience lag it's not like it's affecting a match it's a turn-based thing so it may just like freeze for a second or something but in the end you're not really being affected by that lag so again i really feel that this mode is gonna be extremely refreshing for this community but now let's move on to the next thing that i want to talk about which is the things that you can do 
to your uh, your characters, to your figures, your amiibos, whatever you want to call them, there's multiple things you can do. And one is you can equip skills. I don't know if these skills are like Kamehameha or if they're skills that make your character stronger. Like, you know, they give them certain boosts or certain something like that. We have no idea yet for sure, for sure. But there will be skills that you can equip to your character. That's going to be pretty dope. You power up your figures. That's the whole leveling up thing where you take your experience points and give them level boost. Level limit break. Wait, actually, huh? I don't know. Maybe the level limit break is when you get to level 60 or something with a character and you get him to the next level. But you can also dismantle figures. I don't know what that means exactly either. But as you see, it's not available for use. Maybe you have to get them to like uh, a certain level, or maybe there's a way to fuse figures. We don't know because it says dismantle. I mean, what does that really mean? Does that mean that you can like fuse figures? Is that a possibility? Is that the only way to dismantle a figure if there are a fuse figure? We don't know for sure yet, but that is just a possibility right there. But I like the things that you can do with these. these it's not just collecting them. You have to give them skills, power them up, level limit break. There's a lot of things that you can do with this, and it really, really reminds me of Doken, like I said, in the sense of collecting. But in the the sense of the gameplay it's like dragon ball heroes so that's just gonna be a real dope mix in my opinion especially if they use the tp medals for like a pack system like i said because that's just gonna be amazing like if they basically it's like i said tp medals will basically become dragon stones people will want to grind for those all the time due to the fact that they're gonna want to get more packs and try and get the best possible cards and there's so much more potential like i said they can drop new characters weekly just like doken does weekly or every two weeks something like that just like doken does making this mode continue on with life like this mode can continue on for a very long time if they decide to do something like that if it gets good reviews which i'm sure it will so honestly guys just think about that if this mode gets good reviews they will be more inclined to do do something like Doken, how Doken releases new content, new cards, the, basically we'd be getting new figures with new rarities and things like that. That would be absolutely amazing to, to be in game of Xenoverse 2 because then it's similar to Doken but you don't have to spend as much money because you'll be able to get TP medals through grinding, you know, expert missions and things like that. So that's going to be real dope guys. Also, the last thing I really want to talk about is the online and the story mode. First I want to talk about online. This really gives the mode so much potential. This is where the potential for this mode really, really comes in because it's not just playing offline by yourself, which would be dope because that's just like, you know, Dragon Ball Heroes. I don't know if that game has an online feature. It may, being that it probably does. I just really haven't watched that much gameplay, just the battle system and things like that on it. Probably does have an online mode. I don't know for sure, but giving this an online mode is really dope. Could give a it gives it more of a competitive side, you know, where you gotta really think about strategy, what figures you want to use together. Because I'm sure I'm pretty sure that you get certain boosts when you combine put like certain figures on the field at the same time. So that's really really dope to me. Um, this mode really has a lot of potential, especially if they bring a rank leaderboard where you gain points for each and every single match. You gain points like you could play online rank or you could play um, online unranked just playing, trying to learn the game for those who are playing unranked and things like that. But with online rank, just how the rank system is for Xenoverse 2 um, PvP. If they do something similar like that for the online mode. This game really, this mode has a lot of potential and has a lot of life to it if they would do some, which I'm hoping we get some news regarding that. But supposedly they said that they're going to release this with the extra pack right when the extra pack releases. So that should be in like a week or so because they said at the end of the month we will be getting DLC 5. So that's really dope right there. And now the story mode. The story mode is also going to be dope because that's another thing for all the offline players. There's a lot of offline players who don't like to play online, period. Like... A lot of people just like to enjoy the offline, you know, the story modes of things, the cutscenes, all that type of stuff people really love as well. So they're also doing, you know, basically a whole nother story mode. I don't know if it's going to involve like a time patrol thing, like where you go back in time with these figures and fight with them or how that's really going to work. But they could do something absolutely crazy, not involving the well, involving the time patrol, but just like some completely different like it really could be anything we have no idea how that story mode is going to work but it also seemed like there are going to be like parallel quests basically for this mode as well which is really dope there's just a lot of things that this mode is bringing 
that could just bring life to the game regardless of the other side of Xenoverse 2 with the PvP online, which a lot of people do complain about because of netcode issues, because of some gameplay issues, you know, tactics that people are able to use online, you, like, like for example, the whole trunks thing. There's, there's just a lot of things that people could do online that really frustrate people so this is going to just be another refreshing mode to the game that people are going to just be able to enjoy have fun not have to worry about lag not have to worry about getting punched 10 feet away now there may be some kind of metas to this but we don't know for sure yet like we just got to see how combinations of figures work and things like that but there may be some meta i'm sure there will be once the community gets their hand on this they will figure out some kind of meta that is absolutely op but we will see when this comes out but let me know how hyped you are for this mode man i'm extremely hyped like this i didn't think it was going to be this good this is dope i was really hoping for an online mode and now that that's confirmed I i'm just extremely hyped for this mode let me know how hyped you are but as always man thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed this video until next time hope you guys have a good day peace y'all